So yeah, the beach is all on the left. We're, you know, we're in between Cuda and Leg Inn at the moment, so. So now we're really just starting to come into Leg Inn. On the right here, you can see the Pullman. So, yeah, basically Leg Inn. Pretty good shopping down here. Some people might know Uncle Norm's Bar. We're just here in Leggin, Uncle Norm's. Today the um, a, basically a public holiday in Bali. Um, Galungan, I believe, is basically it's there like Christmas period. And in and in ten days time they basically have their like new year, new year period. So a lot of things are not quite open. On the right here is Sheppies, owned by Australians. Open at 12 today, so a little bit later start. On the left, you'll see uh, Shadowara Street, but that's actually called Garlic Lane. So yeah, Garlic Lane, a lot of people know Garlic Lane at Leg Inn, that's just on the left. Quite popular. As you can see, anything goes in Bali with, with uh, driving. Um, a lot of times it's just filling space. Just on the right here, pretty central, is the Magani. If you know the Magani, if you've ever stayed there. We mainly stay in Cuda. It's what we know and we seem to like it. We've got a very much a, a rapport there with certain people so we generally stay there and go visit them. Few people mentioned Solia in Legging, that's Solia there. Pretty central, but you just back a little bit. There's a burger joint just here, um, it's very popular with tourists. I think it's called Fat Tony's. Uh, yeah, you just see it coming up on the right here. Fat Tony Burger, so if you want a good burger, Fat Tony. Just here on the left too is very popular with Beck. Beck loves um, these lamps and things called Starlight Barley. Just there, very popular. As these are all one ways, we're coming around to, oh well, it's supposed to be one way. Um, on the right here is they're all little warongs, but they, it's called Leg In Food Court. That's quite popular. We've eaten there many times, good prices, and yeah, very reasonable. So, oh, well, we've got a two way street here, which is good. I'm actually following the van in front. Um, we've got a bit of a, not a tour group, but we've got uh, friends and family we're brought over on this adventure but our driver Marde he's driving the van he had his um had to go to do his ceremony this morning in the temple so we just started a little bit later which we fit in with him so and as it holds six and there's seven of us at the moment I thought I'd ride the bike
So we've come out of Cooter and Leg Inn, we've headed up a bit to the corner of heading to Sindhu and Sanua, Sindhu Beach and Sanua. So, which is about 20, 25 minutes away from Leg Inn. That's the new hospital getting built. They reckon it's for international standards and stuff, so there'll be a new hospital built there quite soon. As you can see, we've got a sign Sanua Beach. So we're around Sanua, Bali Safari, heading up to Ubud. We're actually heading to a um, jewellery store. One of the girls um, seems to like jewellery and she was here last year and she saw one and she regretted not buying it. And She's going back there to see if she can find it, which I'd find it unlikely, but she'll probably find something else. So, so that's where we're heading, and we'll give you a good look at that. As you can see, like, it's only just after midday, and the traffic gets pretty hectic pretty quickly. I see a lot of posts, people posting all the time that Oh, can, can I do this? Can I do that? Just to get round Bali is a, a real pain in the backside, you know. You just, it's never that easy to get round Bali. You allow so much more time. Also, too, you, you might hear like, quite a bit of tooting going on. I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but there is a bit of a, um, a process of the tooting. Like in Australia, where we're from, tooting is uh, an aggressive or un <coughs> unhappy that you generally, you know, you're pissed off with someone. Uh, Bali, generally like a little toot toot is generally on like I'm there beside you or I'm coming through or one little toot I'm just here if it's a long honk on the horn well that generally means yeah they're pissed off they want to come around or something like that as you can see there's quite a few different people dressed in traditional dress so that being the public holiday they've gone to the temple and they're in their traditional uniform. And when you're driving through Bali, you'll see different areas. Different areas are stone carving, timber carving, uh, might be straw. So yeah, you'll go through all the different areas and, and each village, they generally specialize in something, you know, like here it seems to be stone. She doesn't mind getting on the bike when we're around Leg in Cuda when we're doing 20, 30 k's an hour, but she's not that keen in Bali to, when we've got to do 60, you know, 60 k's an hour. She'd rather just be in a car, which I don't blame her, probably. So today we're at UC Gold and Silver. Um, it's a two-storey jewellery shop here on the way to Ubud. Worth coming and having a look at, um, silver and gold jewellery. Yeah, so come on in, it's got different prices for everybody. your birthstone. Well it's here, it's saying Maddie, it's shell. Provide relief from stress and offer a protective shield. It's found on Lombok Island. You, you're June? I most certainly am. And and what prices are we looking at, Beck? What are we, what well, are we what, what's an idea? Well, look, Maddie, 
party and I'm just having a bit of a look around at different things here and like I saw a pair of nice little um, started earrings for about $50. These, that, these that, that's Australian, how much yeah. would it be a bit? Okay, so this one for example is 464,000 rupiah for a lovely little necklace like that which is about $46 Australian. So the prices are pretty good. Are they good value, Beck? Jewelry is always a good investment, Maddie. Good uh, is it? I think it's a very <laughs> bad investment, personally. But oh, we all love our jewelry. Now that you come this far into the video, click like and subscribe and it's free and thanks for watching.